guys and welcome to Feywood. So it's finally that time to do the giveaway that I promised. Um, this is to celebrate hitting a thousand subscribers. Obviously I've gone a bit over the thousand now and um, it was a little delayed because I was working on some pretty big projects uh, which took a lot of time. So I was waiting to kind of get over that hurdle before doing the giveaway. Now I was hoping to rope in my husband again for this video but Sadly, we ran out of snacks. So instead of that, I've got a different co-host here. What do you want of me? So, Augra's going to be uh, co-hosting me for this giveaway. Mm. She's a, a little on the short side though, so I've had to prop her up on this box. Are you afraid of me? So I thought I'd do a giveaway that reflected some of the projects that I'm working on at the moment, and that's uh, the Dark Crystal uh, necklace and costume which is coming up soon for the crystal ball and you guys know that I am a bit of a dark crystal fan and if you doubted my fandom then you only have to look on my channel a little bit just to see uh, what a fan I can be. <laughs> some of the projects I've done and am doing, I thought it'd be fun to do a giveaway that um, was dark crystal themed and I found this amazing book which is um, an ultimate visual history of the dark crystal. It's got behind the scenes stuff, it's got sketches, it's got you know different concept um, you know stories about the concepts they came up with and how they developed them and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I wanted to get one of these for myself as well, but I need to save my pennies because I'm spending a lot you. on the costume at the moment. So um, I'm sure this will be something that I do get down the track. But I didn't want to open this one. Um, it's you know nicely packed in plastic, so I'm going to leave it that way. So I can't sort of flick through it with you guys. But I'll find some pictures and share them to show you, you know, a little bit of a sneak peek of what's in there. But it sounded like a great book, so I'm sure it'll be really awesome for anyone who's a fan of the Dark Crystal. Now, I thought I'd just um, go and tell you about a few things that I've seen lately that are Dark Crystal themed that I found that are either from, you know, makers or, you know, more, um, you know, proper merchandise type things to do with the Dark Crystal and share some of those things with you because I found like some really awesome stuff. I'm part of a um, Dark Crystal Facebook group and also my friends just know that I like Dark Crystal or anything fantasy really. So they're always tagging me in different things that I really wish I could buy. <laughs> so, need to win that lottery, I tell you, because there's so many things I'd love to get. Um, so anyway, I thought it'd be fun to kind of share some of those things with you guys, because I thought, you know, you might be interested in them as well, if you're a fan and you enjoy, you know, the Dark Crystal, um, or you might just like some of this stuff, um, just for yourself anyway, regardless of being a fan of the Dark Crystal. So one of the first things I found were these really cool Dark Crystal themed leather tote bags. Um, and they're created by this lady who has an Etsy shop called Ancestor Leather Crafts. Um, now she's got all sorts of different bags on there, but she did a custom order of one that was a Dark Crystal theme. She's got ones on there as well for the Labyrinth, I think, and some other um, different types of fantasy style bags. And they just look really cool. So uh, go and check them out. They're really awesome. And if there's nothing on there for Dark Crystal at the time, just message her. She may be able to do a custom order. Now, I would really love to put this on my wish list. Um, I will have to wait till I have a little bit more money, probably... Um, in the new year perhaps I'll start looking at some of these things or they might just end up staying on the wish list I don't know I, I'd love to be able to buy all of these things because they're amazing what do you think Augra? do you think the bags worth getting I'm sure she agrees 
Now, another thing that I found recently, which was on one of my um, Facebook pages, just a community, like a local community page, actually. And it was for these geode soaps. And they're not being promoted as a dark crystal soap or anything like that. But as soon as I saw it, it just reminded me of that because it's obviously a you know, rich, vibrant purple geode um, soap. And they just look really cool. And I love the name of the shop. It's called Smelly Business, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Um, so I don't know whether they ship internationally, to be honest, um, but you could you could definitely ask. Um, I don't know if there's any issues sending soap to other countries or not. But, you know, at least check them out and have a look. Or there might be someone who sells similar geotype soaps near you. Um, and, you know, I think if you're um, a fan of the Dark Crystal, it could be a way to bring that into your bathroom even. Do you use the geode soaps, Augur? Would you like a Dark Crystal themed soap to use in your bathroom? I think she's a little shy. She doesn't have a lot to say on the matter, but I love the soaps. Now this is a bit more of an upmarket find. Um, a friend of mine tagged me in these amazing um, wine glasses that have these crystals at the stem and they look stunning and there's all different colours that you can get and in fact this um, maker creates all different types of like ceramics and plates and everything with crystals as a theme across all the stuff. Um, they're called Azar Azaria, I think. It's E W S A R A I. So Azarai, possibly. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, amazing stuff. And they have an Etsy shop, and it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other things, but. Oh man, they're so beautiful. I'd love like a little teacup or something with the big geode crystals and I definitely would feel pretty swank drinking out of one of those crystal wine glasses. That would be cool. What do you think, Orgro? You fancy a, a wine in a fancy, you know, crystal goblet? Or tea? Could have a, a nice cup of tea? She's not much of a co-host, I have to say. She's pretty quiet. Maybe I'll have to get more snacks next time and get Dan back. Sorry, Olga. It's true, though. Now, I did see someone talking about the Weta Workshop, and the Weta Workshop creates all these sort of fan-inspired, um, you know, figurines or um, keepsakes and things for all different types of fantasy, sci-fi and all of that sort of thing um, and the stuff they do is pretty amazing and I saw this awesome um, essence bottle on there which is a one-for-one -one replica of, of the essence bottle in the movie and I just had to get it. It's so cool. It lights up which is awesome. Um, I was hoping it was going to get here by the crystal ball so I could um, have that as part of my costume but Sadly, it's looking like it's going to be about around Feb that it'll be ready, um, but, you know, they look pretty awesome. I think they're only making so many of them, so if you're interested in that or anything else that they have for sale there, um, definitely pre-order it because uh, I've heard at least that some of them run out and then you just miss out because they won't they sort of, um, I think, do small batch um, creations. But, oh, it looks so cool. They have figurines. They had some, I think, a necklace. Um, that looked pretty cool as well. Yeah, some really awesome stuff. So, can't wait to get that. Don't judge me for getting an essence bottle, Orgro. I It looks so cool. I don't mean to hurt the gelflings. It's not real essence anyway. It's just a light. It's not real. Don't judge me. I'm pretty sure she's going to order one too. Now, I was going to wear uh, this next thing in the video because, um, you know, it's dark crystal and so forth. I bought this really cool little dark crystal pin that looks like the shard and I've, I've lost it. I've turned this place upside down looking for that bloody pin. Uh, I have no idea where it's gone. Chances are I've probably pinned it onto some random piece of clothing and forgotten about it and now I'll have to 
try and find it. Um, so I've ordered another one, but I really like these little pins. I think they're really cute. You can get them um, from all sorts of places. Uh, you know, they're, they're proper merchandise um, for the Dark Crystal. And yeah, I really like them. There's um, these other ones as well, but of like Augra and stuff, but I just don't think they look quite like Augra. They, they just don't do your beauty justice Augra. Um, it's a terrible rendition of your face. So, you know, I just couldn't bring myself to buy the pin and wear the pin. It doesn't look like her at all. It really just looks like a, a terrible depiction of Augra. So, yeah, anyway, not a fan of the pin of Augra, but the Dark Crystal one is great. It's around about $10 in Australia with delivery um, on top of that usually. So, um, but I did find one that was about $12 delivered on eBay. So check out eBay. I'll try and link that one for you guys as well in case you do want to get the pin. Um, and that's a really nice little um, keepsake if you don't if you can't afford one of the other things that are dark crystal themed. Now, one more thing that I'm very tempted by um, is from GameStop, and it's the um, I think they call it the Deluxe Fizz Gig, and I've been wanting an, a Fizz Gig that looks like a Fizz Gig for the longest time, and every one I've seen looks really cheap and nasty and nothing like the Fizz Gig. Now. This one wasn't perfect either, mind you, but I have seen some people kind of custom DIY them a little bit to make them look a little bit more like the movie version. And these ones are actually pretty damn good. Like, they have the little feet and legs and everything. The face looks better um, than the ones I've seen. Like, the teeth look a bit better than uh, previous ones I've seen, which I think I've seen ones that have just, like, felt teeth and stuff like that. look pretty terrible. Um, so that looks pretty good. It's not cheap <laughs> um, for a plush toy. It's like 120 US dollars, but oh, I'm tempted by that one. I have to say, very tempted by the fizz gig. Can't help it, Augra. Love myself a, a cute little fizz gig. Would you like one of those running around the place? I don't think she wants a, a little fizz gig to have to race after, do you, Augra? I'm probably going to get it anyway, though. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are keen on this giveaway, and I hope you're keen on seeing um, the costume and necklace that I've got coming for the Dark Crystal Ball that's coming up. Um, if you'd like to be in on this competition, you just need to be subscribed here. I am going to do this one a little bit different though and say you do need to also follow me on Instagram. So I've set up an Instagram account, it was um, a few months ago now, but I'm trying to get a bit better with Instagram. I'm still a little bit um, slack with it. But, you know, occasionally I will put a little sneak peek of something coming up on Instagram for you guys to see. And I'm going to try and get a bit better about putting some things on there um, and maybe even do some little videos and stuff on there as well. So follow me over there so that you can see what's going on. Um, and I need to be able to see your subscriptions and, you know, see that you follow me on Instagram for you to be eligible. You'll have until midnight 10th of November to enter and then I'll draw the winners in the next couple of days after that. I'll probably do a video like I've done in the past um, to share the winner and uh, you know so that you guys know it'll just be a really short you know or I, possibly I'll incorporate it into a, a video that I do after that time. I haven't decided yet but um, uh, there'll be a video of some description telling you guys who won. So yeah, make sure you do enter if you'd like to have um, a copy of the book. It's open internationally, as I always do, because I know I've got people watching me from all different countries, so I want you all to be able to enter. So yes, you have until the 10th midnight Australian Eastern Standard Time to enter that one. Um, and thank you again for um, supporting my channel in any way that you do, whether it's watching a video here and there, whether you're subscribed, um, you know, whether you watch all my videos. Um, I really appreciate you guys supporting this channel and 
I mean, who would have thought I'd be here on YouTube? It's such a strange thing to me in some ways. Like, I never, I never pictured myself being on YouTube. Um, and it was only recently that I started even watching YouTube. But, um, you know, it's sort of this organic thing that kind of happened that I ended up on YouTube and, and now I really enjoy it because you know I'm able to share things with people who are interested in what I'm doing and you know it is a bit of a niche sort of thing that I've got going on here but obviously some people are really interested in it so that's great so yeah if you want to see more from me make sure you do hit that subscribe button um, and yeah comment down below um, if you'd like to be entered into the competition um, you can comment whatever you like, just let me know that you'd like to enter um, and I'll pick the winners soon and let you know. Alright, well thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time in Faywood. Bye guys.